Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 3rd. I'm Suzanne Watley, and you're listening to the LA Report from KPCC and LAist.com. Here's your morning news. Los Angeles County Sheriff Alex Villanueva defends his refusal to enforce the county's COVID vaccine mandate on his deputies. KPCC's Frank Stoltz has more. Villanueva says more deputies are filing for retirement and workers' comp because of the mandate, although he was unable to say that was definitely the reason. Likewise, the sheriff speculated that the few thousand deputies who state they are unvaccinated or have refused to provide their status may leave the department because of the mandate. The consensus of the public health community is that vaccination is about protecting everyone you come in contact with, as well as yourself. The sheriff argues there's no evidence his deputies have infected anyone. I have yet to see any contract chasing data that points to deputies infecting anybody. Villanueva believes shots should be a personal choice and called the Board of Supervisors mandate political theater. They worship at the altar of wokeism. Villanueva's stance against the mandate earned him an interview on Fox's Tucker Carlson show Monday. Covering criminal justice, I'm Frank Stoltz. Officials in Malibu are advising people to stay away from Little Doom Beach after a rock slide sent boulders down a 50-foot high bluff onto the sand. The slide happened on Monday. Malibu Mayor Paul Grisante says that the city's geologists are coordinating with officials from California State Parks and L.A. County Beaches and Harbors to find out why it happened. The owner of the property where the slide started has also hired a geologist and an engineer. A geologist will tell them what they think the problem was. And then their engineering consultant will tell them what they think the appropriate solution is. The house at the top of the cliff is considered safe to live in, but the patio has been red tagged. In the meantime, Mayor Grisante warns people that the bluff could still be unstable. Even a small rock falling could hurt or kill someone. The price for observing it up close could be horrendous. Please stay away. It'll take some time to figure out what happened and how to prevent it going forward. The mayor says that the city could realistically have an answer by early December. Los Angeles City Fire Chief Deputy Fred Mathis is under investigation for his oversight of operations on the Palisades fire while he was allegedly intoxicated. Now, the L.A. Times reports that he accessed information about the complaints against him, including witnesses, while he was supposed to be off-duty. LAFD confirmed that Mathis did log on to the complaint system, but did not say what information was gathered. His access has since been revoked. L.A. Times investigative reporter Paul Pringle says that critics argue that the department has been too lenient during the process, highlighting a perceived double standard. They point out that, you know, Fred Mathis is a a white male and they have contended for quite some time that what they say is discrimination within the department is reflected in the disciplinary system. They believe that if this had been a non-white firefighter, a female firefighter, the complaint would have been handled much differently. The L.A. City Fire Department has been under a lot of scrutiny lately. Last month, women firefighters called on Chief Ralph Tarasas to resign, citing his failure to address complaints of racism and harassment within the department. You can read our investigation into that issue online at LAist.com. If you're in the market for a Christmas tree, one option has the added benefit of helping forest health. After a summer marred by wildfires, forestry officials are inviting people to help thin out smaller trees by bringing one home for the holidays. Jennifer Basie Sanders is the author of Green Christmas, How to Have a Joyous, Eco-Friendly Holiday Season. She says removing a tree from the forest is far better for the environment than purchasing a plastic import. It's a win-win in several different directions that you're helping to thin the forest. It also sounds like a great way to spend an afternoon with your family. The closest place that you can go into the woods and chop down your own tree is Sequoia National Forest. There are plenty more in Northern California. You can find more information and purchase a permit to take your own Christmas tree at recreation.gov. Taking a look at the weather forecast, we're back under high pressure, and that means warm and dry weather through Friday with some gusty winds. Beach highs around 70 degrees. In the L.A. Basin, inland Orange County, and the Antelope Valley, it'll be in the mid-70s. Coastal valleys in the Riverside area will be in the low to mid-80s. Thank you for listening to the L.A. Report. I'm Suzanne Watley. Join us again next time. Meantime, you can read more news at LAist.com and listen live at kpcc.org.